Hello, wonderful people. Christmas is built upon a beautiful and unique paradox that the birth of the homeless should be celebrated in every home. And luckier the ones who have a home to go to and spend time with their loved ones. And even luckier the ones who are mentally healthy and they can truly enjoy this period. Because when your mental health is delicate, you might be affected by what is happening around you during Christmas and have a very difficult time. It is the time of the year that often puts extra pressure on us and can affect our mental health in loads of different ways. For some odd years of my adult life, I have been away from home and spent the Christmas festive period either alone or with others. The Christmas I remember the most though, are when I was fortunate enough to work and be together with patients who had been diagnosed with several different severe mental health conditions. These patients lived in residential care settings somewhere in East London with 24-7 supported living, which provided the home for them, but this was not their family home. One of them, these patients, holds a special place in my heart because we spent quite a lot of time together, chatting and drinking hot tea and munching on cookies during my Christmas long evening and night shifts. From everything he told me, it was very clear that his main worry was that he would be a burden to his family if he was to spend time with them, because he felt alone and left out when everyone else seemed happy and he was not. Even listening to his relatives' exciting plans made him feel like an alien, as he did not really have all those wonderful relationships in his life. He had no intention to spoil Christmas for them, but he was unable to do anything else to feel something different. It was his words that made me realize how important it is to pause for a second and consider all these people around us who find the excitement of this period very difficult to handle. So let's try to understand that Christmas means something different to them and may bring up very different feelings. We should truly tell them that they are not alone, we are there for them and we understand Christmas can be very hard to deal with. Spend some quiet time together with them and not try to force them to cheer up. The expectation to be happy over Christmas can feel like a huge burden following you around. You might feel forced to be cheery and smiley, but in reality, you're feeling like the weather, dark and gray. So let's make a sincere and honest effort to accept them as they are. Christmas is most truly Christmas when we celebrate it by giving the light of love to those who need it most. As for me, the ones who know me know really well that I like to enjoy my Christmas a little at a time all throughout the year. Merry Christmas to all of you.